Hi, I'm Tyson, and today I'm going to show you how to uh, make a cross domain uh, call using iframes. So let's say you have um, you, you have a frame here, and this is um, your first domain. So let's say this is this is a uh, domain one dot com, and you want to be able to access something that is in domain two dot com. So we're going to make a hidden iframe. This is actually pretty big on here, but it's, we're going to pretend like it's a one pixel little iframe. And this is domain2.com. The thing about this iframe is you don't have access to anything except the URL from, from frame number one. So all you can change is the URL. Typically what you'll do is you want to change the hashtag and that's really the only way you can communicate into domain domain 2.com so when you want to communicate back to domain 1.com you actually can't from domain 2 because that is um, a separate domain and the browsers aren't going to let you so what you can do to get around that is you can put another iframe inside of domain 2.com and this one is also in domain 1.com and it's another proxy and that's domain1.com and that can call document.parent.parent dot whatever function you have um, in, in the top frame and that'll call it all the way up to the grandparent and, um, it, and you'll be able to communicate all the way back up to your original page and you can do whatever you want to kill that frame or whatever and you have successfully communicated between two different domains